you, Aaron. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Aaron and I are uh, really excited to be with you here tonight. Uh, we're coming to you uh, from the historic Elsinore Theater in Salem. We've, we've played here uh, many times in the past. We love coming to this theater. It's so nice to play in a theater. Uh, it is. It, we, I've, I've, neither of us have done this kind of a show in a theater <laughs> since the pandemic uh, started and the, the shutdown happened. So uh, I can't tell you uh, artistically how happy we are and also how happy we are to support the Children's Center Absolutely. and uh, and how important it is uh, that we support all those kids and their families in that community. Uh, it's such good work and uh, it, uh, it really saves people's lives and it saves their hearts, more importantly. And so that first song is a very heartfelt song. It's, it's kind of a signature piece uh, for Aaron and I. We've been playing that song together for probably over 20 years. It's called Journey Home. And, um, uh, and it's, uh, it's just one of those kind of songs that just kind of, it starts right here, just right in there where it just it takes you takes you to a place, you know, that feels, uh, I guess, feels like home, for lack of a better word. <laughs> uh, we're going to do one more uh, a song for you before we move on with uh, the program. Uh, this next piece is another one that uh, we can't wait to play every time we have a show. And we both love George Gershwin, and so this is Gershwin's Summertime.
Good evening and welcome to Children's Centre's Benefit Concert featuring our good friends Michael Allen Harrison and Erin Meyer. We're so grateful that you've chose to join us tonight and why we wish you were here in the beautiful Elsinore Theatre. We're glad that you're safely at home, probably watching this in your pajamas or sweatpants. <laughs> Tonight's special event was the vision of one of our former board members who suggested we do something fun and uplifting during these challenging COVID times, and also hopefully raise some funds to support our work with vulnerable children and families. And what better way to lift our spirits than with the music of Michael Allen Harrison and Aaron Meyer. Thank you, gentlemen, so much so for your performance tonight and for your tremendous support of our work. Tonight is made possible by the generosity of many. And please join me in thanking and acknowledging the following. Tom Fone and the Elsinore Theatre for their hospitality in providing this wonderful venue. Tom has been a good friend of Children's Centre for a long time. Thank you to our generous sponsors, Cherry and Ed Shaw. Cherry is one of the five amazing women who founded Children's Centre in 1989. Our abundant thanks to the Vancouver Clinic, Riverview Trust Services, Evergreen Pediatric Clinic, Columbia Credit Union, and Providence Health and Human Services. Each of you have been a longtime partner of ours, and we're honored to have you sponsor tonight's special event. And thank you to Jenny Hoheisel, our development coordinator, who you'll meet later, for all her hard work. And I know we're anxious to get back to the great music, but just a couple more really important thank yous. To our board of directors for all their hard work, volunteering their time and talents to support the mission of Children's Centre, and to my hardworking colleagues who make such a difference in the lives of children and families every month. Thank you again so much for being with us tonight. Enjoy Michael Allen Harrison and Aaron Meyer.
Thank you so so much. We we know Aaron and I both know you're all at home doing the wave in your living rooms and and uh, uh, getting all amped up and cranked up for all this uh, what we call heavy mellow music. <laughs> uh, that was called Tomorrows, and uh, that one was uh, definitely for the kids and their families. And, uh, you know, when an organization and a community, when they come together and, and embrace uh, folks who are in need and give them hope, that is the greatest gift that you can give to a fellow human being, is to give that hope. And uh, that's... That's what that song is all about, Tomorrow's. Uh, you know, being a composer, I, I, uh, I, I'm very much inspired in so many different ways in writing music. Uh, this next song is something that was actually inspired at one of the, my concerts. And I think, Aaron, you might have even been there. It was one of our Valentine so. shows at the old church. And it was somebody's, uh, uh, actually, a birthday that night as well. And so somebody sent me a note, would you do something special? For my wife and I said well uh, why don't we write her a song tonight and uh, so using the musical alphabet we love playing this game the musical alphabet is A B C D E F or G I, I just asked this lovely lady said just give me five notes any any note and the notes that she gave me were A C F G and E it just kind of writes itself doesn't it you know <laughs> Anyways, uh, that song was born, and and it's uh, it's become one of our biggest hits. Gets requested uh, uh, many times over, and uh, um, streamed and downloaded all across the world. And and what a great gift uh, for this lovely person, and what a, a lovely gift for us to express this music. The interesting thing about that evening is is uh, we've never seen that person again. <laughs> I have no idea uh, who she is. So if you're out there and you're watching this program, raise your hand and say, that was me. And uh, send us a text, send us an email, put it in the, the Facebook box, make a comment. I'd love to know who you are. Because <laughs> I, I have no idea. Anyways, here's Will You Take Me There.
Thank you so much, everybody. So the, the, we're going to do one more before we go on with uh, other parts of the program. Uh, so this one, feel free uh, to get up and dance and move your head back and forth like you're in a Charlie Brown's uh, special. <laughs> Michael, phenomenal, and just a little bit of what's in store for you this evening. Welcome, Children's Center friends and supporters to the Elsinore Theater. My name is Tom Phone. I'm the executive director. Although we're excited to be hosting you virtually this evening, we can't wait for the day when we once again can have live audiences in our theater. To give you a little more sense of where we've been and who we are, I'd like to introduce the president of our board of directors, Ryan Cardi. Thanks, Tom, and thanks, Matthew, and your team at Children's Center for the invaluable work you do for youths and families throughout the Pacific Northwest. Built in 1926, on the site of a former livery stable, the Elsinore Theater has stood these last 94, 95 now years as the gem of Salem. And I know if you were with us tonight, you would agree. Mm -hmm. Originally designed as a venue for silent films and vaudeville shows, the Elsinore boasts an intimate stage and a grand proscenium arch that draws the eye and captures the imagination. 
Over the years, a litany of performers have stood where Michael and Aaron stand tonight. From John Philip Sousa and his famed marching bands, to the smooth baritone of James Earl Jones, to the irresistible draw of Oregon's own Pink Martini. And while those performances have been grand, magical, the true magic in the Elsinore is its ability to bring people together. Whether it be love of a performer or support of an organization, the Elsinore has stood these last 95 years as the tie that binds us together in a common interest. We've been a pivotal source of arts, entertainment, and culture for diverse audiences drawn from throughout Oregon and the Northwest, and we are thrilled to have you with us tonight for a common interest we all share, supporting Children's Center. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Michael and Aaron, back to you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a new composition uh, written during what I call this COVIDian interlude, mm -hmm. and uh, so I've been uh, I've been home at home a lot and uh, in my studio and 
writing music every day and, and uh, uh, doing arrangements of uh, really uh, cool tunes I've known throughout the years. And uh, uh, this, uh, this next song is, uh, is what we call a cover. It's called a cover tune. So we, we're covering somebody else's tune and we're kind of making it uh, our own arrangement. And uh, so if you're around my age, which I'm, I just, I, I'll be 63 this year, and uh, uh, Aaron is about 16 years younger than myself, and uh, so 48, is that right? Yeah. 48. You're catching up, young man. <laughs> uh, but uh, this was like one of the songs uh, when I was growing up. Everybody wanted to hear this song. Everybody wanted to learn it. And uh, and whenever I used to play in a rock band, I like when I was 13, 14 years old, my very first rock band. And sometimes we'd play at parties and and sometimes somebody would have just a little bit too much to drink and they'd want to get up on stage and sing House of the Rising Sun. see inside. But if you could, what would you see? You'd see we like feeling happy. We like feeling safe and loved. And when we do, we can really go places. But you'd also see that sometimes some of us aren't so happy. Sometimes we have to deal with some pretty big stuff. We can feel anxious. Depressed. Overwhelmed. Angry. It can be confusing. It makes us act different. Yo. Get in trouble. Cry. <laughs> or just fade away. 
Children's Center helps us. They help us understand what's happening so we can feel better and grow up healthy. Children's Center helps thousands of us already. But for every 10 kids who need mental health treatment, only two of us get it. Eight out of 10 of us are at risk for dropping out. Getting arrested. Addiction. Or suicide. You can change those numbers. You can help us. Make a donation to Children's Center and more of us will get the help we need. When you donate, you support mental health care in our schools. Case managers helping in our home. Therapists and psychiatrists working with us and our families. Mental health services like these save lives. Our lives. Won't you, you help too? too? The Todd and Maxine McClaskey Foundation have been generous champions of Children's Center for many, many years. Tonight, they'd like to challenge and inspire, motivate you to give generously to support our work with hundreds of vulnerable children and youth each month. For every dollar donated, the foundation will match up to $5,000. If you'd like to donate, just click on the button on our website or in the link in the YouTube description. A huge thank you to the Todd and Maxine McClaskey Foundation for their generosity and for each of you for willing to give and support our work tonight. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of this wonderful music. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. Uh, that song uh, was called, uh, um, well, Cascade has two names, but when we did our album together, Seasons of Peace, that we did, uh, uh, we did the four seasons, and that season was spring. And, uh, uh, but it's also the theme from a children's uh, show uh, that I did many years ago called The Velveteen Rabbit. Um, but that uh, Velveteen Rabbit Easter spring, it's all, all kind of the same. Uh, here's uh, here's a, a, another one that I know you'll you really love, and uh, this is one of the great songs uh, uh, on the planet, and written by Mr. John Lennon. Thank you. 
I'm standing outside the Marilyn Moyer building, the home of Children's Center. Prior to the pandemic, our parking lot would be filled at this time. And in the waiting room, we'd see the young faces of those here for their appointment. And in these offices, children and youth would be working with their clinician. On a sunny day, you would see people here in the Maxine McClaskey Therapy Garden. In order to keep our staff and clients safe, our building is now empty. However, our work continues doing what we have always done, changing and saving the lives of children and youth facing mental health challenges, but doing so via telehealth. Last month, we saw 780 clients. Our services are needed now more than ever.
Well, uh, we can't believe that we're we're at our last song already, oh, and really? uh, the night flew by really fast, and uh, uh, we really hope that uh, you were all generous tonight, and uh, in helping uh, with the Children's Center, and uh, we are honored to be here uh, to be a part of a, a collective body of beautiful people out there. I know you're just all a bunch of really fantastic human beings uh, who want to connect to all of us tonight and, uh, and to give hope uh, to those children and their families. And we truly appreciate your support. A big shout out to the Elsinore Theater for hosting us this evening. This is such a beautiful place. Thank you so much, Tom phone and and the team here and also to the staff at the children's center they just have some incredible members uh, paving the way there so uh, thank you so much for all that you do for the, the children of clark county so this this last song is uh is a leonard cohen tune and uh uh, made famous by Leonard Cohen, but made f famous by so many other people, and uh, it's it's one of the most covered tunes on uh, on YouTube. I mean, this song is just all around the world, and uh, I think it's one of those that nobody really gets tired of, mm -hmm. and it, it's just uh, just has such uh, profound meaning and 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 just uh, uh, such profound uh, songwriting. You know, when you, uh, when you hear a song, well, like we just did Ave Maria, another just really profound Beautiful piece of music. music. And when composers, you know, uh, manipulate these tones together to make these incredible great melodies, you know, uh, it's uh, the, the greatest gift actually, I mean, for, for us composers who write the music, but the great gift for everyone who was born on the planet we all understand that language. We understand that language when we're born, when we all hear this together. We all understand that together without learning what those notes are. You know. You know, so, this is just manipulation of the language that we're all born with, you know. So, you know, musicians and composers and whatnot, I mean, we train to learn how to express that language, but we all understand it together, you know. And so, um, what a great gift for all of us uh, to be able to experience together while we're here on this wonderful planet. And uh, let's all stay safe Wash your hands, wear a mask, get your vaccine, support your community, and, uh, and all will be good. Here's Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen.
From all of us at Children's Center, we'd like to thank everyone involved in tonight's event. A special thanks goes to the talented and generous Aaron Meyer and Michael Allen Harrison. To Moses and Jordan at Left Door Streaming for helping us with our very first virtual event. <laughs> and to Tom Fone and the Elsinore Theater for the use of this beautiful, beautiful venue. To our sponsors for their continued support, Cherry and Ed Shaw, the Vancouver Clinic, Columbia Credit Union, Evergreen Pediatrics, Providence Health and Services, and Riverview Trust. And finally, we'd like to say a special thanks to you, our supporters, for viewing tonight and for continuing to open your hearts to the children and families in need in Clark County. Thank you for making a difference in the life of a child.